Now from the United Arab Emirates, we have Alice Law, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Committed to Good, or CTG. Um, Alice is helping women in conflict-ridden regions around the world to take control of their lives. Uh, by placing uh, more women in charge of humanitarian projects in those high-risk environments, which she's very familiar with. She is the SDG pioneer for women's empowerment in conflict settings. Thank you. As you can see, I don't look like I'm really from the United Arab Emirates. Um, firstly, I would like to thank Lise Kinko and the UN Global Compact. I'm so honoured to be amongst these remarkable organisations that have been nominated as SDG pioneers today. When I first watched the SDG pioneers in 2016, I thought, I want to be one, and then I realised I had an awful lot to do. <laughs> So my organisation, CTG, which is, stands for Committed to Good, actually enables humanitarian projects in conflict-affected countries. We get involved in all sorts of different projects, from uh, monitoring migration in Libya to food distribution in South Sudan or Afghanistan. Um, when I looked at who the beneficiaries are. A lot of them are women and children, and then I realized that actually I only had less than 9% of my staff were women. So we launched something called Female First on International Women's Day in 2017, which pledges to create job opportunities for women in conflict-affected countries and has a goal of 30% by 2030. One year later, we have doubled the number of women in our organization, and we have 17.8%. We also launched something called CTG Giving, which currently supports an entrepreneurship training in, uh, for victims of gender-based violence in Somalia. And that's just a, a snapshot of what we're doing, really. Um, last, uh, week before last, actually, I was in Gaza, where we held an SDG workshop, and we're looking at using the SDGs to make Gaza a more livable place. And we actually had over 120 uh, members of civil society in the UN that participated in the event. Um, for me, partnerships is going to be key. And I really welcome discussing in more depth what we're doing and, and how we can do more. Um, I have one call to action, or actually three call to actions. Um, I really urge companies to start their gender equality journey if you haven't already. I started by signing the women's empowerment principles, and it really helps guide you. Um, make sure that your workplaces uh, are empowering for women. And as a woman who works in war zones and um, never ever accept the statement, uh, this is no job for a woman, because sometimes we do it better. 